Hey everyone, this is Dawson with Fair Play Vinyl. Just wanted to come on here and do a recent finds video. So let's just get into it here. Uh, first off, a recent find. I believe I got this last week. Sam Rivers, my conception. This is uh, Sam Rivers, I believe, second outing on Blue Note. It's him doing uh his take on standards you got a few different ones here when i fall in love i'll never smile again what a difference a day makes and this is sam rivers on tenor soprano flute hal gape gappler on piano herbert lewis on bass and steve ellington on drums Pick this up for a crazy good price since it was literally in the shrink the owner of the record store opened it up out of the shrink to play test it for me and here we go here label here you know just a division of liberty record pressing but man it was great and to find this sealed still is incredible uh this is really nice for sam rivers i'm not um use usually i'm not a very free jazz or out there kind of guy and sam rivers can fall into that at times uh but here he is just playing so well and it's outside the box a bit but man is it killer love this one Okay, next one up. I actually found this the next day at the same record store uh, here in town as the Sam Rivers. And this is Pharaoh Sanders Thimby. Probably butchering that, but man, you know, I've been, I've heard so many things about this. And this is one of those Pharaoh Sanders records you should own from a lot of people say. And I can see why. This is incredible. Just fantastic spiritual jazz. Gets out there at times. Of course, this is a well-loved copy here cover-wise. But, man, it plays so well. Uh, but, yeah, very spiritual jazz. A little bit free at times. But really tastefully done. And I love the grooves on here. It's, there we go. The label. Just on that Impulse ABC there. And man, killer tunes like Morning Prayer. Uh, Astral Traveling. Just killer. Killer tunes. And this is probably one of those must-own spiritual jazz albums. At least in my opinion. Okay. Next one up is Sonny Rollins' The Bridge. I found this the same day as the Pharaoh Sanders one at the same store. And man, this has been on my want list for a while. I love Sonny Rollins. I think he's one of the greatest of all times. And this has been one of those records I've been trying to find a really clean copy for for some time now. They don't come up as often as you would think for an RCA, which has, you know, huge distribution and everything. I feel like I never see this record. But, man, killer, killer record. Sonny Rollins, top of his game here. You got Jim Hall, Bob Cranshaw, Ben Riley, HTC Sanders. Just fantastic. I mean, the bridge, just an incredible, incredible tune. And God Bless the Child is probably one of the best things you'll ever hear. Fantastic. Covers a little bit worse for wear. You know, that ring wear is stunning, to say the least. But the record is in really good shape. This is the classic RCA Victor Stereo. A little deep groove there as well. And man, just a killer, killer record. 
Okay, next one up here is Sunraz Atlantis on Impulse. Picked this up probably about a month ago on the Oregon coast. And I was a little hesitant on it because I'm not the biggest Sun Ra fan. Um, to be fair, I haven't listened to a lot of his stuff. Um, but I really just could not leave a, a nice promo copy leave, left behind. Especially at a killer price. This is uh, this was originally released on Sun Ra's home label of Saturn and then eventually reissued on Impulse with a new cover and everything. Um, it is it is out there at times. I've struggled at listening to this one a few times, but man, it's great seeing those white label Impulse albums. Um, you know, it has its moments for me. I can't say this is something I would put on all the time or even every now and then. But maybe it'll grow on me a little bit more. Um, the title track, Atlantis, is wild to say the least. But there's some really nice, delicate moments on side one here. Um, I really like Mew. Uh, Yucatan is really nice as well. But... This was a crazy deal that I just couldn't leave behind. Here, uh, Freddie Hubbard's hubcap. I actually found this at the same place I found the Sun Raw at the same time. Uh, this is actually a Japanese King pressing. Really nice. Love those King jackets. I think they do well. I'm not the hugest fan of Japanese pressings. I often find they're pretty sterile sounding for the most part uh but they're usually really quiet and they're usually well kept um the the thing that sold me on this one here was the crazy white label promo here <laughs> you don't see japanese uh, white label promos all that often especially here in the states i would imagine um, I've found two in the last year, which is incredible to me, but man, this is just killer Freddie Hubbard right here. I mean, this is Julian Priester, Jimmy Heath, Cedar Walton, Larry Ridley, Philly Joe Jones. Um, this is kind of a bigger hard bop sound for Freddie Hubbard, but man, he is just lighting it up here. i I love everything he does on Blue Note. Um, to be honest, I love a lot of what Freddie Hubbard does on CTI as well. I think he is immensely underrated, and he is just burning on this record. Okay, that's it for today. Um, let me know if you have any of these albums. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And until next time...